Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and I'm going to show you how to set up one of these for wireless flash. Uh, this is the Canon 600EX RT Speedlight and I'm going to show you how to set it up both optically and radio transmitter with one of these, the STE3 RT radio transmitter from Canon. Um, so first thing I'll do is I will flick this on and as you can see it brings up just the standard ETTL um, electronic through the lens metering system and let's just say that that rarely ever gets used um, so to set it up for wireless flash you're going to hit this little um, sync button which is the little arrows and here you can see that it's gone to radio transmission radio transmitter which is this little um, symbol up the top and then it's got radio off and then master so this has been set up to be a master slave if you put it on top of the camera it can control other flashes so on and so forth but then I'm going to hit it to slave so it's still radio transmitter it's still on slave and where it's got ETTL once I turn this little thing on um, which I will do now um, that is going to link and I can fire sort of test shot straight from here but you can see that it's switched to manual mode because it's being controlled by this and I'm using it in a manual flash sort of circumstance um, you can do a lot of the controlling from this little thing which is really cool um, but the next way to set it up is optically now when I was uh, first searching for one of these I didn't know that it actually did optical uh, transmissions um, which is really convenient because I used to have a camera with a pop-up flash and that was the only way that I could connect to, uh, well, to flashes, um, both the 430 and the 600. So I, I set it up with optical, um, and this is actually set it to master. So you can do this one as a master or a slave. And then if you hit it again, it's going to go to optical slave, so you can control it through the back of your camera. Um, if you're using a pop-up flash camera, that's the only way you can do it. Um, how you set it is uh, you bring it up you go into your settings it's under flash control built-in flash settings um, and then I believe you change it to custom wireless and then you can control uh, this flash multiple other flashes so on and so forth so um, I'll hit that back it's gone back to normal mode I'll turn it back into slave which is how I usually use it and I've got it set on channel one so it corresponds with this um, and then it's set to being slave A which uh, I've set this to channel one it's a lot easier to set it um, to an individual channel which I'm more of a fan of just because it it give it feels like it gives me more control and then I've got radio um, with master slave A and B so I've got this one set up as A and I've got a 430 EX3 RT which is set up as B uh, I do have a tutorial on how to set that up for wireless it is similar but slightly different process um, and yeah here I can control all the flash settings so if I just if I hit ratio it'll bring up um, all the different numbered flashes I've got so I've, I've got A and B and then if I go group I can then change between A and B hit the button again and then change the flash power of it so I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial I'll turn this off now um, please do like, comment and subscribe, let me know what you think, I hope this has helped and made it a little bit easier to sync uh, your 600EX RT flash with your camera or the um, ST radio transmitter from Canon, uh, I will see you in the next video.